And then also we don't have a pumpkin turning into the carriage. It's a drawer, you guys. A drawer. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Now, if you're someone who enjoys talking about film, then consider hitting that subscribe button. We do movie reviews here, some monthly tier lists, and some little, little random rankings from time to time. Now, 2021's version of Cinderella does have a pretty, pretty nice cast. We have uh, Camila Cabello who plays Cinderella, and I believe this is actually her first official film. I could be mistaken, but I feel like that's right. And not only her first, but like lead, she got the lead in it. And surprisingly enough, she was really good. Like I, she, uh, there's also Pierce Brosnan who is the king, Millie Driver as the queen, and then the stepmother, which can I literally botch her name more than John Travolta, possibly. But here we go. Um, Idina Menzel. Uh, but anyway, she plays the evil stepmother. Well, although she's not actually that evil here. And then lastly, we have Billy Portner, who plays the godmother, or rather the very fabulous godmother. I'll make sure to put a, a picture up here so you can see just how fabulous he was looking like. Honey, he should have gone to the ball. Honestly, other than the cast, unfortunately, the movie itself is not that great. Um, I don't know if that's really a surprise, probably not for a lot of people. I do enjoy the live adaptations of Cinderella. Uh, some of my favorites are A Cinderella Story and Ella Enchanted and 2015's version of Cinderella. They do try to modernize um, this particular story. They're not doing it very well. One of the main things that they do add here that I was just not not here for with the musical choices the one that they were singing um i don't think they had any actual original songs they just used a bunch of pop culture songs and, and the song choices just didn't fit within um the story either and now obviously we know that Camila Cabello can sing the issue here was man they were really going for that will i am auto-tune situation here everybody you guys it was freaking auto-tune it really really got you out of the story and then like it wasn't sinking like I guess when, when they were actually singing in that scene when they were recording like they muted the, the vocals and they added vocals on top of it and it didn't seem to match very well another of the modern day uh toys that they were trying to add with this was obviously you know not depending on a man which I'm totally here for but again the way that it was set up and the way that it was delivered just didn't really work out for me like this really honestly could have been a great message you know for young girls especially when it comes to a princess story because you know obviously you know the princess movies is like oh yeah i'm like 15 16 years old and i meet this guy and i'm gonna fall in love and forget my dreams you know i'm just gonna go be a princess yay nobody questioned it until frozen with Cinderella doesn't want to be a princess. She doesn't want to just marry and just give up all her, her dreams and her ambitions. No, she wants to be a successful fashion designer. She wants to own her own business. Mind you, in this time period, women don't own their own, own shop, don't own their own companies. Even though I did say earlier on that Camila Cabello's performance was actually good, it is good. There are certain parts where she kind of gets lost in the mix and I'm just like, okay, I don't know about this. Dude. Those are pretty much all my thoughts on 2021's version of a Cinderella. Before I do give you my score, of course, don't forget to give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post something new. Oh, I did forget something. Sorry. Uh, James Gordon, of course, is in this movie because it's singing and why wouldn't he? be in a movie I don't know I mean I don't mind James Gordon I really really don't I know some people just absolutely hate and despise him I'm not, I mean I don't not not like him he's uh, one of the three mice that the footman or whatever and there's like this whole transformation with him you know going back into a rat it was very unpleasant it was so unnecessary mind you just kind of going back and forth between cinderella or whatever was going on to the mice when they were at the ball totally unnecessary i don't need to see the mice like they're like well the uh, mice people right they're just they're really not of concern 
honestly and they were just trying to put that as a bit of a humor towards the movie and it just didn't work out and then also we don't have a pumpkin turning into the carriage it's a drawer you guys a drawer a drawer oh wait not only was the drawer the the carriage but it was also the horses Anywho, um, so yes, those are officially my last thoughts on it. I'm gonna give Cinderella, sadly, a small popcorn. I was expecting a little bit more from this adaptation. Uh, like I said, I was going in a little bit with higher hopes. I know some people were like, I don't know about this, but I was looking forward to it. I just didn't realize that it was gonna be like full on singing. Like I just thought it was gonna be oh like a little a little song here a little song there but no we have like musical numbers and stuff all of the Cinderella movies at the end of the day honestly are pretty much their own thing like I said it's their own adaptation of this particular um, pr Disney princess if you've seen 2021 Cinderella let me know down below what did you think about it did you like it did you hate it was it just not for you are you planning on checking it out are you planning on skipping it all right guys that is it for me today until next time I'll see you guys at concessions bye. Thank you.